So Mark, uh, in addition to being Council on the Ageing in Queensland, you also run the Peak Health Consumers Organisation in Queensland. Seems pretty bloody stupid. Absolutely right. Um, we need to have a health system that actually is centred around the needs of the consumers, not centred around what the bureaucrats or, or the providers want to do. Um, so we need to make it easy for people uh, like, uh, like Max, uh, who's old, uh, obviously, uh, to, who, who may not be able to, to use computers. Uh, so uh, we need to make it uh, paper-based, uh, but for those people who can use computers, uh, register online. Right. John, why have they done this? It's almost as if they don't want people to register for PCHRs. I mean, how many people have registered so far? 1,000? 2,000? Oh, I think it's up to about 12, 15, I think, at this 12, point. 12, 15,000. That's right. That's without any launch either. So, yeah, there's been a lot of interest without much advertising. Right. Mm. So people are actually doing it? Yeah, they are. They are. I, think, I guess that's through word of mouth. But don't you think it's mad, the system? As in the process of registration? Yeah. I guess the government quite reasonably wants security that the people who register for it are the people who actually create one. They, they want to have some certainty there, I believe. Ross, have you got many patients who want to be registered in the country? Uh, zero so far. So, uh, but, I, but I think, as John was saying, it's really about trying to be sure the issue is around the, the identification of people and trying to, to have a robust process to make sure that that that, that that is ticked off as, at, when we go to create this record. Just a, a show of hands now. How many people, or how many of you knew what the system was if somebody came and made that, that, they, that the registration was separate from the uh, entry of the actual data? So about 20% of you knew. So there's a there is a gap there. <laughs>